Welcome back to another episode of The Wire. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Doug Taylor. In this week's episode, we take you to the Devon Horse Show. We drop a sign at our new $3.4 million listing. And then we close out the week at the third annual Food Truck Festival in Kennett Square. But up first, a YouTube viewer, Terry B. writes, My husband and I are getting relocated to the area. He's an avid fisherman. Where we live now, it's not easy for him to go fishing. Are there trout streams in Chester County that he can just pick up and go without having to plan an entire day slash weekend? Terry, yes, there are tons of trout streams around here. They're all stocked. You need a fishing license, of course, but you know what? Yes, there are plenty around. As a matter of fact, right now, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite streams where we meet Tom Baker, a 91-year-old sportsman who just can't get enough of the outdoors. This guy is a 10. The Chester County edition of the Week in Real Estate begins now. AC, bang, rock the house, pal. Come on, help me turn it out. I'm MD, bang, and I rock the house. Yeah, you know I'm going to turn it out, young. Jilly? Looks like we're going to be eating good tonight. Where are we going? We are going right across the street. Back. Tournament continues. Trout fishing in Chester County, baby. What do you think, sir? About uh, uh, 14 inch or about 15. 14, 14, 15 inch? Yep. Uh, rainbow. How many rainbow trout? How many people could it feed? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> would that be a snack or a whole meal? That'll be a whole meal. A whole meal. Well, there you have it. Would... And what is your name? Tom Baker. Tom Baker. Where are you from, Tom? The area? No, I'm from Media. Called 1925. The... Since 1925? I'm 91 years old. God bless you. I yes. can't believe it. I just caught a nice brownie out in here. Really? Do they have all different yeah. kinds? So that's the rainbow? And they then... have the rainbow and the brown. Okay. Yes. There's what I use. A little, they call it a CP swing. So what's your favorite part about Chester, Delaware County? This creek right here. Really? I, I, lo I love it. I've fished it for years. Well, we certainly love it here too. My wife and I are real estate agents and we produce a show called The Wire, The Week in Real Estate. Oh yeah. And you're going to be on The Wire. Oh, I yeah. will be. You're going to be a star. Well, on the, <laughs> on the web. Next up, we attend the Sapphire Grand Prix at the Devon Horse Show. It is always a blast. And if you haven't seen McLean Ward on Clinty yet, well, let's just say he shows us once again why he's a world champion and a 10-time winner at the Devon Horse Show. Where did you get a pair of pants like that? So we're super pumped. The course walk, we did not miss. We're going to go on the course walk right now. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. This is where the riders and the trainers get to walk from um, jump to jump and figure out. Yeah, here we go. We're going to take them on the course walk. Are McLean fans, huh? Oh, yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, but he's got some competition. Babs is in town. Right? What do we think about Babs? No? We're not feeling bad? I think he'll do it. I think he'll do it. I think he'll go clear. You think he's doing it again?
your first Devon horse show? No. No, do you ride? No, I'm allergic to horses. You're allergic to horses. <laughs> There you guys have it, 122nd annual Devon Horse Show. Always a blast. Big shout out to Jamie at Phelps Media. Thanks, Jamie. Always cool to be here. I thought we were at Harry and Meghan's wedding. Oh, there were a lot of hats like that. Well, this is kind of aristocratic out here. As James would say, it's a lot like London. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good night. Right now we're gonna head over to one of our new listings. We're gonna drop an estate sign in the front yard. I'm gonna take a quick fly over the property and then I'm gonna share with you some of my thoughts on why I still put in my own signs. Gonna be rolling up on our brand new listing. $3.4 million, this place is unbelievable. You've never seen anything like this, never. Um, gonna drop into an estate sign in the front yard and uh, we're gonna get this bad boy over the goal line. So uh, wait to check this place out. We can't go up to the house. I'm not gonna take you inside today or do any filming inside, but um, it's a very, very cool place. A lot of tree work. So, that's the I'll just show you real fast. Turn this down. That is Padua States. Padua State. There it is, guys. $3.4 million on 30 plus acres your own private pond. You can hunt, you can fish, you can ride horses. You can do pretty much anything you want to do. If you love to entertain, this is definitely the house for you. Hey, by the way, that there you can't really see, that's um, the old Roosevelt Mansion. All right guys, beautiful night out. A little on the warm side, but uh, I think this is gonna be the spot. So, I had a buddy of mine ask me the other day to spend his whole life in real estate. He said, why do you dig your own signs? Why do you dig your own signs? Or the, you know, the holes for the post. As big as I can. And most don't know, but about seven years ago, I spent most of the year in a wheelchair nurturing 64 fractures head to toe. Um, had a brain bleed, subdural hematoma. Was blind in this eye because I hit on the optic pathway and um, I was pretty banged up. I got hit crossing the street. I never really talked about it much. I didn't say anything on social because of how it happened and who had done it. But uh, I'm writing a book so it's gonna come out anyway. So that's another reason I do this, as good as I can. You know, yeah, I could pay somebody 50, 75 hours to come out here and do that, but you know what, I can do it. And I'll tell you, I remember those days when I was in that wheelchair, it sucked, man. I would look outside and I had a ramp and actually Bernie Emery, shout out to you, pal, for building the Freedom Ramp. It allowed me to get out the front of the house and the back of the house and uh, at least just sit on the deck in the front porch. And uh, it was crazy because guys would come out planting trees and doing stuff, cutting the yard, you know, pressure washing the deck. And all I wanted to do was be out there doing it. So. Uh, it's certainly not lost on me seven years later. My leg is killing me right now, but uh, I'm upright and I'm doing it. So that's another reason why I do this. I don't know, maybe different for everybody, but for me, I enjoy it. We didn't want to drive up before, but we're going up now. We're going to take this up to about 180 feet, 200 feet to clear the trees.
guys, you are checking this out in real time. You are seeing this as I am seeing this. I'm serious, this is total 100% real time. I don't know if you can see that. Here. There it is. This place is, oh, it's not responding. Oh no. Uh oh, something doesn't seem right. And closing out the week, Jill and I dropped by to see a new friend in Kennett Square. She's got a very cool house that I can't wait to get listed. Then we're on to the third annual Food Truck Festival where we enjoy some of the best soul food, well, I think found anywhere in the world. Okay, I thought Sunday was the day to catch up on everything non-work related, doing the errands, cleaning the house. Got out there, I was doing some of that. Then I got a text message saying the food trucks were down in Kennett Square. So Whereabouts? Outside the Victory Brew, Brew Pub. Oh. You know, next to those townhomes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down there, the new construction. I haven't been in those yet. Are they nice? Have you been in them? I have not toured the inside of them there. Maybe we'll poke our heads in there and see if is it open. I mean, are they sold out? We're going to check it out. Yeah, we're going to check it out. So, as is well known, we are the unique home specialist. There's no doubt about it, right? Google Unique Home Specialist. We came up like first page. Anyway, we found this really cool place. Talk about a unique home. This place is so cool. Don't don't look at the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at the yeah, baseball no, field. Pretty much Saturday. But this place is so cool. Right I can't here. even. Yeah, I can't even stand it. Am I getting it? I can't see. Can you see the um, URA, the rec? Our own rec baseball field? Yeah. Right in their front yard. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Does this really look like June 2nd? Everyone's bundled up. They're yeah. freezing. Okay, here we go. Check that house out. Is that not the coolest house you've ever seen? And you got to see it inside. It's like a, um, it was built to model a, um, it out. Colorado, a Colorado type ski chalet. It is the Spit coolest. It, out, place. it is the coolest place you've ever seen. Get ready, you guys your people. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? You getting around okay? Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. Look at the size of these doors. Wow. They're massive doors. It's still barn. It already is. We are going to, uh, we'll roll back like in the next week or so. My baby's in the garage. Take care of the foot. So, what is this? Is it I don't know, a I weekly guess event? Is it a monthly event? I think Victory Brew Pub is just, ooh, there's the, the Polish, Polish connection. connection. So Jill, since when uh, the soul food on the menu for you? You gonna get some black eyed peas? You gonna get some black eyed peas? Nope. Do they have them even? I don't see them anywhere on the menu. I'm getting some jerk chicken. Oh, it's jerk chicken. Yeah, there we go. What's better, the collard greens or the string beans? Um, this one I'm like, it's delicious. Really? Yes. Go collard greens. Collard greens? Yeah. Nice. You could mix it, you could mix it greens with cabbage together. You want to do that? All right, let's do that. Perfect. How'd you get to revamp my meal? Because you never have collard greens. Fun, tasty, tasty little stuff. Yeah, it was. That was did a resounding success. Did you get his card? I did not. All right. But we have them on film. Yeah, we do. So, those are the townhouses. Kind of cool. Should we stop in? I don't think they're going to be open. The model's going to be closed now. Well, that was fun. Perfect way. Then today's vlog, Jill.
we're going to close it out with uh, some Caribbean and American soul food, which was off. I gotta stop saying off the charts. There's only one thing that's off the charts, and that's Padua steak. <laughs> Turn it out, I'm MD, bang, and I rock the house, yeah, you know I'm gonna turn it out, young.